Yeah, so basically at the start of a round, what you generally do is you want to like, you see how they walk, right? Big wavy movements, whatever. And you'd be like, okay, I can poke here. He's about to meet me in neutral here. We poke him. The reason why is because generally when you meet in neutral, you want them to feel as though they have to press when they meet you in neutral. The reason for this is there's more opportunity, right? For whiff punishing, right? If this is about clearly just whiff punishing, there's more opportunity in them whiffing, right? There's more creating opportunity, right? If you meet them with a button in neutral. Because now, when we meet in neutral, I might just do this. I might do nothing. I might wait, button, okay. You see? So this is step one. You need to give them something to fear. In the same way that if you knock someone down, you want to throw them early, right? Because this is the only way to damage someone if they're blocking. If they block everything, they throw, right? So now they fear something on wake up, so they have to take back their turn. Yeah, you need to give them something to talk about. You need to make them actually have to do something, right? You make them inclined to pressing, right? So how you do that is, this is a safe, safe normal. This is a safe normal, so you would do something like this. Just, actually, what I generally do is the first start of the round, I'll do this. It's the safest option, because one, I can see if, are they going to press without me even pressing anything? See? If they don't whiff here, then I know they didn't react. They didn't react to me crouching, so that tells me that when they see a crouch, they don't even think they don't even associate that with me throwing normal. Cause so now I can start doing this. Cause they're not reacting, right? But maybe now that I've started giving them something to challenge, right, and take their turn back, they might start reacting to this. So, like I said, generally I'll start around. Okay, he didn't react to this. Okay, let me. Let me take back my turn. I mean, let me uh, let me start some pressure. This is all pressure, right? Stand medium kick. Okay, he didn't whiff. He didn't whiff. I delay. He presses. I wait and I block. He presses. And sometimes people will do a delay press because they don't actually really know. They don't actually really know what they're doing. They're just trying to protect themselves from the option on offense that you're doing, right? So that's why you'll see like, for example, I don't want to say Karen specifically, but usually you run into a Karen, you do this, they just do crouch strong. Because they know that if you walk up and you do this, you'll hit them, you'll counter hit them. Right? They've been conditioned so much by getting counter hit, ja dashed in and counter hit, that they delay their medium punches. They want it to be confirmable, right? They do crouch strong, crouch medium kick, or whatever they do. You know, but they always start with the crouch strong. And the reason for this is because they're so used to getting counter hit like this. You know? Or this, you know, so, or this, like some dumb shit, you know, but yeah, so, I mean, there's a way to beat that too, this is one way to beat it, right, you can wait right outside the space and let them whiff, so let's say I would charge Zonk, right, you would do like, you could do like delay, crouch, medium kick, right, So they delay to avoid counter hit from pressing on. Exactly, it's just impulse. It's literally just reaction. But yeah, so I give you something to talk about, right? Delay, whiff punish. That's some ways to get people to whiff. Just hitting on block is one, right? Walking up, seeing if they press uh, based on crouch is one, and then seeing if they press based on space and how long you're there, that's another. Like some people will always press at the same time. So if you do this and then delay, delay, medium punch, then you know if you do this, delay, medium punch, whip punish. Another thing you could do is if the opponent is really reacting to you, pressing something and whiffing, and they want to whip punish you, you could do this. Right? Or you could do this. You know? The reason why is because let's say you're actually really thinking about what you're gonna press, right? If I know you're really looking for the, for the stand fierce, but you don't wanna just whiff it, I might do this. If I do this and you whiff, boom, whiff punish. V-trigger buttons is what I use this most against. If I'm having a hard time making them with the V-trigger button, I'll do this. And then they whiff and I whiff punish and, you know, high fight highlight and so and so, you know? So this is one way. This is, the whiffing a button is a big deal. Standing still, big one. Crouching, big one. Jab, big one. Crouch light kick. These are all really good baits. These are all baits you could do. 